Hello friends, I am Keshav Kumar. Welcome all of you into my Gyan 24 into 7 online tutorial. So, in the previous classes of compass traversing, I am discuss about the in the previous lecture introduction on compass surveying, then purpose of compass surveying, then principle of compass surveying description of prismatic compass and how prismatic compass works so these things we i discussed in the previous lecture if those who not attended the lecture so go, uh, go back to our previous video and see the lectures so in this lectures i am going to discuss concept of meridian true meridian then magnetic meridian bearing conversion of bearing and the problems on conversion of bearing so comes to the concept of meridian true meridian magnetic meridian and arbitrary meridian meridian means meridian is a standard direction from which the bearing of survey lines are measured there are three types of meridians true meridians magnetic meridians arbitrary meridians True meridians is defined as it is a line of intersection of the earth's surface formed by a plane passing through north and south poles and the given places. Then magnetic meridian is defined as it is the direction indicated by freely suspended magnetic needle. And the arbitrary meridian, it is any convenient direction assumed as the meridian for measuring bearing of survey line. True meridian is exactly definition like that. True meridian starts from north and south poles. This is fixed. But in magnetic meridian, it is suspended. In the childhood, you suspend the magnetic needle and found that they suspended in north and south direction. From that meridian, we measure the angle. That is the line of magnetic meridian. So, arbitrary means assume any assume. Just like assume assumptions, assumptions of any meridian by making difference of any line. So, in this figure, this is the north pole and this straight line, this red line this red line is magnetic meridian this is the suspension of magnetic bar this magnetic bar is suspended on this line means this is the north of magnetic bar this is the south of magnetic bar and this is the north pole this is the south pole true south and north pole and the angle made by using true meridian that is true bearing this is will discuss in the next slides this is true meridian, this is magnetic meridian and the angle made by magnetic meridian, angle made with magnetic meridian, this is called magnetic bearing. So understand the things. This is the true north and true south. This is true north, this is true south and this is magnetic north, this is magnetic south. So angle made by magnetic meridian is called magnetic bearing and the angle made by true meridian is called true bearing so comes to the bearing <coughs> what is bearing it is a horizontal angle made by the survey line with reference to the meridian based on the meridian the bearing are three types true bearing magnetic bearing arbitrary bearing I discussed magnetic arbitrary bearing in the previous pictures. So let's uh, discuss with the definitions. The angle made by a survey line with the with reference to true meridian is called true bearing. It is always remains constant, does not change. Ever. So magnetic bearing, the angle made by a survey line with reference to magnetic meridian is called magnetic bearing. It changes from place to place. And time to time, I told you that the free, uh, freely magnetic needle uh, changes uh, place to place. So that's why uh, this is not called the true north and true south. But in true uh, bearing, that is true north and true south. Arbitrary bearing, 
the angle made by a survey line with reference to arbitrary meridian is called arbitrary bearing so comes to the next slide what is the representation of bearing how bearing can be represented bearings are expressed in the following two systems whole circle bearing system and quadrantal bearing system then comes to the whole circle bearing system in this system the bearing of line is always measured clockwise from the direction of the north of the of the meridian towards the line around the circle the whole circle bearing of lines have been shown in the next slide in this picture whole circle bearing representation is shown here this is the north to north and south this is east this is west then angle is measured from this north taking this north as a reference then measurement starts then the measuring element of angle starts with north so the uh, the bearing of oa is 30 degree measurement of oa from north line from north line is 30 degree and the measurement of line ob from the reference point north that is 120 degree and the measurement of oc from true north is 210 210 degrees and the measurement of od from true north is 300 degree measurement is done in clockwise direction not anti clockwise direction so always measure in clockwise direction from the true north so measurement so remember two things measurement is done from true north and it always be done in clockwise direction and it measures the degree from 0 to 360 in clockwise direction from north that is the whole circle bearing representation then comes to the quadrant bearing system in this system the bearing of a line is measured from either the north or the south clockwise or counter clockwise which average nearer to the line towards the east or west the angle at any station in a plane is divided into four quadrants by two lines at right angle to each other these are the north south and east west line the bearing is measured from 0 degree to 90 degree in each quadrant quadrantal bearing of line have been shown in figure quadrantal bearing are also called as reduced bearing so comes to the picture in this figure the reduced bearing or quadrantal bearing is shown how i represent the bearing of line in quadrantal bearing here first divide into four quadrants this means north east quadrant north west quadrant west south quadrant and south east quadrant here four lines bearing of four lines is shown here o a o b o c o d this is that means the bearing of line o a uh, that which is nearer from north and south so which is near from north from north oh is very near that is measuring of oh is 30 degree that means representation like north 30 east then the representation of ob ob is nearer from south so the angle is taking from south so that is 60 degree from south so south 60 east then the bearing of c h this line is uh, nearer to south not from o uh, not from north so the angle which the bearing of this line is south 30 south 30 west then the bearing of line d is nearer to north so it is represented as north 60 west this is the representation of line in this quadrantal bearing i have shown the measurement is done in 0 to 
90 degree which divided into four quadrants so comes to the conversion of whole circle bearing into quadrantal bearing the whole circle bearing of a line can be converted into quadrantal bearing by reducing it to an angle less than 90 degree which has the same numerical value of the trigonometrical functions rule of conversion of whole circle bearing into quadrantal bearing this is the rule to convert wcb to reduced bearing or quadrantal bearing wcb means whole circle bearing so if the angle if the bearing of the line lies between 0 to 90 degree then it will lie in the northeast quadrant so the rule for 0 to 90 degree the quadrantal bearing is equal to the wcb whole circle bearing system then the between if the bearing of the line in between 90 to 90 to 180 degree then that quadrant is southeast that means the quadrantal bearing is equal to 180 minus wcb whole circle bearing if the between if the wcb angle lies between 180 to 270 then the quadrant will be southwest and the QB equal to WCB minus 180. If the WCB angle lies between 270 to 360, that the quadrant bearing that is northwest, the quadrant bearing is equal to 180 minus WCB. So, comes to the one problem to understand the things how I convert from whole circle bearing of lines to the quadrantal bearing here in example 1 convert the following whole circle bearing of the line to quadrantal bearing here a bearing of o is 32 degree bearing of ob is 109 degree bearing of oc is equal to 211 degree bearing of od is equal to 303 degree so convert into reduced bearing or quadrantal bearing how can we done so first draw the uh, whole circle bearing of the line first draw the whole circle bearing diagram so when you draw the whole circle bearing it looks like that look like that or not you are agree with me yeah almost you are agree with me so here the line OA in whole circle bearing the angle is measurement in clockwise direction from true north so OA when we measure from north that is 32 degree that means this is OA then OB 109 here OC that is 211 that is OD that is 303 degree so representation is done in WCB then the question comes that represent this WCB in the quadrantal bearing or reduced bearing okay so how can I convert this so put to proceed for the this year figure so remember the rules how I convert WCB to RL uh, RB reduced bearing so Question number one WCB of OA means whole circle bearing of OA that is given equal to 32 degree. Then the quadrantal bearing means that is equal to the WCB that means north. This is north 32 east. I told you how representation north 32 east that is here. Then WCB of OB then WCB of OB is 109 degree. That means according to the formula quadrantal bearing is equal to 108 degree minus 180 degree that is misplaced this is not 108 this is 180 degree minus WCB then 180 degree minus WCB is equal to 71 so which is nearer north from north or south south is nearer so, so means it is written as 
south 71 degree east then wcv of oc is 211 that means it is greater than 180 so the formula is quadrantal bearing is equal to wcv minus 180 degree that is equal to 211 minus 180 degree that is representation in southwest southwest this line this is southwest quadrant so represent in south 31 degree west then wcv of od equal to 303 degree that means it is greater than 270 so 360 minus wcv that is 360 minus 303 it will lie od lies in fourth quadrant that is northwest so representation means north 57 degree west okay that's all this is the conversion of wcb to reduced bearing or quadrantal bearing so in the next video i'm going to discuss how to convert quadrantal bearing to wcb and going to discuss local attractions then how traversing is done in the field and lots of what are the errors comes in the traversing compass traversing so today for today this is over so those who not subscribe my channel please subscribe kyan24 into 7 for latest coursework videos and also for competitive examination i am going to publish more and more videos on gate is and also subject wise so like and subscribe that's all thank you guys for watching my video